السلام عليكم ورحمة الله مرحبا بكم جديدا في محاضرة جديدة من سلسلة محاضراتنا عن مراجعة أسئلة الاختبارات from preview of formative test question. This is first lecture in pediatric nursing. Today إن شاء الله we're going to discuss five question from question number 114 up to question number 118. أعطوا مثل الأسماعيلية. نبدأ مباشرة. Question number 114. The nurse is monitoring a child who is burning during treatment for birth shock. Which assessment provides the most accurate guide to determine the adequacy of fluid resuscitation? The options are number A, skin trigger, number B, level of edema at burn site, number C, adequacy of capillary filling, number D, amount of fluid tolerated in 24 hours. For given video, you know, the correct option is option number C, which is adequacy of ليه اخترنا الخيار الخمسي نشوف راشنال Parameters such as vital sign, especially heart rate, urinary output volume, adequacy of capillary filling, and state of sensations are determined adequacy of fluid resuscitation. So the correct options uh, is option number C, which is adequacy of capillary filling. Although option number A, B, and D may provide some information related to fluid volume in a bed injury, but adequacy of capillary filling is most accurate. So the correct option is option number C, which is adequacy of capillary filling. Question number 115. The mother of a three years old child arrives at the clinic and tells the nurse that the child has been scratching the skin continuously and has developed a rash. The nurse assesses the child and suspects the presence of the skins. The nurse bases these suspicions on which she findings noted on assessment of the child's skin. The options are number A, fine grey-shirt line. Number B, purple colored lesions. Number C, Thick honey colored crust. Number D. Clusters of fluid filled vessels. For given video, you know, the correct option is option number A, which is fine crush red line. Why did we choose number A? We will see the option. Scabies is parasitic skin disorder caused by a mite known as the sarcoptis scabi. It appears as sparrows or fine grey red line. So the correct option is option number A, which is fine grey red line. Referring to the option number B, purple colored lesions may indicate various disorders, including systematic conditions. As regarding to the option number C, thick honey colored crust are characteristic of ambitibo or secondary infection in eczema. And regarding to the option number D, clusters of fluid filled vessels are seen in herpes virus infection. So the correct option is option number A, which is fine Gracie red line. Question number 116. Permethrin is prescribed for a child with a diagnosis of scabies. The nurse should give which instruction to the parent regarding the use of these treatments. The options are number A, apply the lotion to areas of the rash only. Number B, apply the lotion and leave it on for six hours. Number C, avoid putting clothes on the child over the lotion. Number D, apply the lotion to cool dry skin at least 30 minutes after bathing. For the video, you know, the correct option is option number D, which is apply the lotion to cool dry skin at least 30 minutes after bathing. Let's see the option number D, and we'll see the option number D. The lotion should be applied at least 30 minutes after bathing, and should be applied only to cool and dry skin. So the correct option is option number D, which is apply the lotion to cool and dry skin at least 30 minutes after bathing. The option number A is incorrect, because permethrin is massaged thoroughly, 
and gently into all the skin surface from head to toe. Avoid contact with the eye. Option number B is incorrect also because the lotion should be kept on for 8 to 14 hours and then the child should be given a bath. Regarding to the option number C, the child should be clothed during the time of treatment. So the option number C is incorrect also. So the correct option is option number D, which is apply the lotion to the cool, dry skin at least 30 minutes after bathing. Question number 170. The school nurse has provided an instructional session about to entitle the parents of the children attending the school. Which statement if made by a parent indicate a need for further instruction? The options are number A, it is extremely contagious. Number B, it is most common in humid weather. Number C, lesions most often are located on the arms and chest. Number D, it may show up in an area of broken skin such as an intact fine. Remember the strategic word that need for further instruction. This word indicates a negative feedback query and ask you to select an option that is an incorrect statement. In this question, the correct option is option number C, which is lesion most often are located on the arms and chest. Imitigo is a contagious bacterial infection of the skin caused by beta hemolytic streptococcus or streptococcus aureus. So the option number A is correct, and we need to select an incorrect option or incorrect statement. Imitigo is most common during hot, humid summer months. So option number B also correct. It may begin in an area of broken skin such as an insectivite or atopic dermatitis. So, option number D also is correct. Lesions usually are located around the mouth and nose, but may be present on the head or hand and extremities. So, the option that is an incorrect statement is option number C. Lesions must often are located on the arms and chest. This is incorrect statement because lesions are always uh, or usually located around the mouth and nose. So this statement, if made by the parent, indicate a need for further instruction. Question number 180. The clinic nurse is reviewing the healthcare provider's prescriptions for a child who has been diagnosed with this case. Linden has been prescribed for the child. The next question is the prescriptions, if which is noted in the child's record. The options are, number A, the child is 18 months old. Number B, the child is being bottle treated. Number C, a sibling is using Linden for the treatment of this case. Number D, the child has history of frequent respiratory infection. The correct option is option number A, which is the child is 18 months old. Linden is being prescribed product that may be prescribed to three scales. It is Contraindicated for children younger than two years because they have more permeable skin and high systematic absorptions may occur, placing the children at risk for central nervous system toxicity and seizure. It is also not recommended for the use by breastfeeding women. So the correct option is option number A, which is the child is 18 months old. Sibling and other household members should be greeted simultaneously. Regarding the option number B and D are unrelated to the use of LinkedIn. So the correct option is option number A, 
but she is, the child is 18 months old. Shukran Yasin, and Tiyaba, inshallah, and have a day. Don't forget to support us by comment, like, or subscribe.